Welcome back to another episode of Rob Sports Center, man. As you can see by the title, man. Yes. Let's go ahead and clap it up for that man, man. Terrence Crawford, four division champ, three times undisputed. And here's the thing. I've already been seeing people try to downplay his accomplishment. You know, people saying, I see um, Tia Fimo, I think he was saying something about Terrence Crawford showed his age in that fight. Um, I've been seeing people in the comments saying that um, the other guy was robbed, uh, Madrimov was robbed. And I'm looking like, how? And, and it's like, like if you, that, but those are people who don't understand and know anything about the sport of boxing. And it's like this, this, this is the thing I'm noticing about boxing too. It's almost, it's as if, a lot of so-called boxing fans, it's almost as if if a boxer doesn't win a fight by knockout, then in their mind, he isn't the better fighter and he was robbed in a sense. You know what I mean? That's the same stuff that they be doing to Shakur Stevenson. But I'm going to make that another video in itself. But um, I've seen some clips from the fight and I and I liked it what I've seen um, in terms of both fighters. Actually, not just Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford looked like Terrence Crawford, obviously. Um, Madrimov, that was my first time ever seeing him fight. And he brought something a little different in terms of his style because it looked very um, unorthodox in a sense. You know what I mean? It, it kind of was a little hard to predict and a little hard to read because he was utilizing a, you know, kind of an amateur stance like the bounce, the bounce, and then doing a lot of a whole bunch of different feints. Um, the same thing Shakur said that was giving him problems when he had his last fight. You know, he's just kind of trying to understand and read because, you know, we all know that. Terrence Crawford starts off slow a lot of times because he's trying to read his opponent and see does he have any habits, tendencies, uh, any bad habits he's having, tendencies, does he do the same thing, is he repetitive, you know what I mean? So that's normally what fighters like Crawford, Tank, um, and Mayweather in his time do the early rounds. They kind of try to use those rounds to analyze and see what it is that you're going to, you know, probably make faint a jab at you or, you know, might faint a right, might faint an uppercut and just to see your reaction to those shots, you know what I mean? But, you know, let me read off these accomplishments, man. And I'm going to be honest, Terrence Crawford earned my respect, honestly, from um, last year when he fought Spence and decimated Spence. Like, oh, my God. Like, but see, it's it's almost like he's con he's always looked at as an underdog in a sense. It's like a lot of people don't give him the credit that he deserves, you know, because some people say he can't sell fights. Then you got some people saying that he's only fighting bums, you know what I mean? But if you notice, those are a lot of the same things they say about a lot of the fighters across the board that either they can't sell or they're bums, you know what I mean? But let me read off some of these accomplishments. So, and then this is another thing too. So people were saying that, you know, they was trying to, they was trying to say that, and obviously the dude was, you know, dude had punching power from what I've seen. You know what I mean? I heard Crawford say that they asked him who hit harder out of him and Spence. And he's like, it all depends, you know what I mean? But um, old dude did, he was packing some power behind his punches. But then my thing is this, right? You got to think about it. Terrence Crawford moved up from lightweight to super welterweight, right? That's not his natural weight. So you got to understand that the higher that you get up, you're going up against bigger guys. So it's, I mean... The chances of you knocking out every those guys, for one, the chances of you knocking out everybody you fight is damn near slim to none, for one. And for two, to be able to say you're going to jump up and think that you're still going to have the power that you had at lightweight up at welterweight, super welterweight, you know what I mean? It, it, you know, that, that's just unrealistic. But let me read off some of these accomplishments. So you got, he started off as the lightweight champ. Then he worked his way on up to the welterweight champ. Then he worked his way on up to the, well, the light welterweight, I mean, take that back. He started off as the lightweight, made his way to the light welterweight, worked his way up to the welterweight, made his way up to the super welterweight. So those are four divisions, championships that this guy has obtained throughout his career. And keep in mind, he's only 36. So he still has years left, so who knows what's coming next. And then he's still undefeated. On top of that, he's a three times undisputed champion, man. Like, this I he said it in the Spence fight, and he was saying that this is the Terrence Crawford era. You know, I even put that as my thumbnail, the the Terrence the Terrence Bud Crawford era. But I mean, is he wrong? I mean, it's just like this. This guy's the limit with this guy. You know what I mean? Now I would say this: I wouldn't advise him to go up any higher than and then Super Bowl to wait. Um, just because I mean, like I say, man, you could tell that the guy was packing power, and I think a lot of those punches that you know, a lot of his punches was kind of affecting Crawford to an extent. Not saying that it was hurting him, 
But, you know, he was feeling them punches, obviously, because, it's a, you know, naturally it's a bigger guy. And who knows, the guy that he fighting might be cutting weight from his natural weight just to come fight at welterweight. weight. So you got to think, take a lot of those things into consideration. But um, in terms of what's next for Crawford, he hasn't really announced and said anything about it. So I'm going to kind of be on the lookout with that. And whenever I do find out information, obviously I'm going to come on here and let you guys know if you guys haven't found it out just yet. But, you know, it's been rumors saying that Canelo, you know, I'm a big Canelo guy. So, man, that would be a fight that I would most definitely love to see happen i pray that that fight does happen and then they were saying even boots was a potential um suit for a fight with him so you know i'm obviously you know he's gonna go go home chill um you know celebrate which is rightfully so um and then probably hit the drawing board later and come up with whatever he's gonna come up with but once again man shout out to terrence bud crawford man for putting on a, um, a masterful clinic um and yeah, man, it's this Terrence Bud Crawford here. But as you guys can see, man, that is it for this video, man. If you did enjoy this video, do me a big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, because this is one of the best channels on YouTube that, that covers sports, sports news, sports, brought everything, sports analyst, all of that is on this channel. So you get all of that. So, man, you might as well subscribe, man. And when you subscribe, click that post notification bell that way you won't miss because like I always say in each video, just like the Go Drizzy Drake say, man, I'm coming back to back with these videos, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out this thing. Peace.